What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're covering more of the Lenovo Legion Go by reviewing a recent update to the Legion Space application. Now Legion Space is a launcher that allows you to access your games but also access the settings for the Legion Go. And as for the update, things are looking more modern, futuristic, they're just organized better, and the information is easier to access too that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that was the focus here, is just creating a better user experience. So here we are in the application, we're on the settings page. I'm actually going to exit out of this though so you can see how this boots up. So I'm going to swipe up from the bottom of the display here and I'm going to use the mouse and I'm going to hover over the Legion Space icon and then tap on the X on the small window there and that's going to exit the application. Then we are going to boot it up here. Again, I just want to demonstrate this so you can see how fast this application loads up on this device if you don't have the Legion Go right now and you're just looking to get more information about it. But overall, I've been very happy with this device. It looks really cool. It's worked really well. Overall, it's been very enjoyable for me. So when I open this application, it brings me to the store, but we have these different tabs at the top. So we have my store, library, settings, controllers. And some of these pages don't look like they've changed all that much, maybe just a little bit. Some of them look like they've changed quite a bit. And then one of them kind of looks like it hasn't really changed all that much. And we'll run through all of that in this video. So we're going to start with my, this is a page I haven't really visited all that much. It's basically your login page the order center you could switch accounts you can log out and again the idea i believe here is just getting information to the user quicker more directly finding help that kind of idea so we have the help center here and then we have online support and then we have the download center so you can go through each of these items here they're conveniently highlighted and you could select them with the a button if you did want to go into them more Next, we're going to move on to the store. This looks really good. I don't know if this has changed all that much. This is one of those pages. It might have changed a little bit. Overall, it's a very clean setup. It looks really good. Kind of reminds me of the Game Pass store or maybe another store such as, I guess, Steam or GOG. Uh, but this gives me more Game Pass vibes, Xbox Game Pass looks really clean simple easy to navigate just works really well if it didn't change all that much i'm okay with that here and then moving on we have library and this is a page i don't think has changed all that much now it gives you your game platforms and games are listed here as well but i would have preferred that we had two tabs one for game platforms and then another for games. And maybe you could switch them around. Maybe you want your games to show first or maybe you want your game platforms to show first. But either way, it would have been nice to be able to switch between those tabs because I don't like this current layout where we have the game here and then we have a game platform, game platform, game, game platform, game, game platform. I just think it's a little clunky looking and maybe have this appearance also updated to make it look a bit more futuristic or at least cleaner like how the store looks. The store looks really nice here. But I will say one of the things I do like here is the game platform button. And that's helpful if you are new to PC gaming and you don't know how things really work. You can just tap on this button and this shows you all the different stores that you can download to access games. So I think that's really helpful there. Looks really nice, very easy to access. We can also refresh this page, see if there's any changes here, and we can add games. Moving on, we have settings. And this is where I've noticed the biggest change here, along with the controllers page, which we'll get to in a moment. Settings, it just looks more futuristic, and we have our information right here in front of us right when we go to this page. So we have the fan, we have CPU, we have GPU, we have some bold text, and then we have data, 
uh, for that text and just the status of things. For example, the fan speed is set to full speed. Temperature is 51 degrees Celsius for the CPU. Temperature is 48 degrees Celsius for the GPU. Really nice. It just looks really cool, really clean, futuristic. We have the FPS limiter off. We have VRAM set to 800 megahertz. RAM is 6.71 gigabytes. Now, what I also like about the changes here are going to be the different categories at the bottom of the settings page. And we're also going to have this on the controllers page, which we'll get to as well. But we're going to have performance, display, audio, disk and drives, and then general. And we're going to run through all of these. So we'll start with performance and we have our performance modes. So we have performance, power saving, custom one, custom two. Then we're going to have our thermal modes of quiet, balance, performance, and custom. Then we have our fan speed of smart and full speed. Then we have a chart underneath. Then we have FPS limiter. And then we have the OS power mode. And then the last option is to restore to default. So I can back out of here. Then we have display settings. So we have the brightness, we have the resolution, we have the display refresh rate, and then we have the option to toggle on or off radian super resolution. So we can back out of this page. Then we have audio, so we can adjust the volume here. We can select our output device for the volume. We can adjust our microphone volume, and then we can select the input device for the microphone. Then we have disk and drives. This was actually the most helpful for me out of the changes here for this page. I like this because you can see how much storage is available. Say you want to check and see if you're going to have enough storage space for the next game you want to install. Very helpful here. Then we're going to have driver update here. You could check for updates so we can run that really quick. We've got this check in screen. It's kind of like a radar. And I like to show this so you can see a live presentation of how long this looks. And you can see that we have an actual update ready to install. I downloaded this previously. Now I'm not going to install it in the video because I have to restart the Legion Go to install this update. But this is what it looks like. It's here. And then we have all drivers underneath. This is all good information to have. I could look into more of this if I wanted to. And then we can also check for a Windows update if we wanted to. So lastly, we're going to have general here for the settings. Just your general settings. We're going to have the select preferred language, 24 hour clock, boot automatically into the Legion space, the power button light. We can either enable the lighting effect or disable it. Still, I haven't seen anything for this lighting effect being customizable. That would be nice if you don't like red but right now it looks like red is the only option there. We can optimize battery charging. I have that enabled. So it's going to charge this device to 80%, the maximum, just to reduce battery aging. Then we have download path. We have our screenshot shortcut. We have our screenshot folder. Then we have when a screenshot is taken, show notification, we can toggle that off or on. We have the current version. And then we have about, so this is going to give us basically our version of the current Legion space application. And I can back out of that. And lastly, we're going to have our controllers. And again, just the emphasis on getting you the information that you probably use the most on a day-to-day -day basis. And just like the settings page here, it looks very modern, very futuristic. You can see when we open up, it shows an animation of the controller splitting. I think that's just really nice, looks really cool. But we have the status of things here too. So joystick light is solid. We have our current controller versions and controller vibration set to strong. So overall, I love the virtual schematic here. It just looks very modern, very futuristic, a good design idea. But I do wish that you could rotate the schematic only because on the back of the Legion Go controllers, we do have more buttons. We have the triggers as well. And you can't really see that here. But we do have the battery status of the controllers as well. 
that's really nice so you can see both of them are at 100 percent and once again we have these different categories just like settings at the bottom of the page here so we have our button mapping we have our joystick light we have our joystick settings trigger settings and more and we'll run through these too so button mapping you could change the current profile you can view or edit your layout and then you have your fps mode so you have your current profile and then you can view or edit the layout for that as well then we're going to have our joystick lighting which you'll probably change when you first get the unit or from time to time so we're going to have our light and profiles and you can have three of these or you can turn it off or cancel then we're going to have our light and effects which you have four here we're going to have solid blinking dynamic color spiral rainbow and then the option to cancel or exit out and then color that can be adjusted with the joystick or with the d-pad as well as the brightness with the d-pad or the joystick so we'll back out of this as well and then we have the joystick settings so here this is interesting you can actually adjust the dead zone for the left or the right joystick i'm not sure that i would actually do this but it is here if you want to so we'll back out of here once again and you can see that this is overall responsive this application there is some small delay but overall responsive to my inputs here then we have trigger settings and i like this because it actually rotates the controllers so that you can see the triggers that is nice that's kind of more of what i was talking about but i would like to see it on the main page itself maybe you can highlight the controller and use the joystick to rotate that virtual schematic now i'm not sure what this page does for the trigger settings i haven't played with it much but it is here if it's something you want to experiment with so we'll exit out here once again and then we have our last category more and this just looks like settings that you won't play with all that much so that's why they're thrown over here into the more section so we have vibration we have controller mode we have test input so you can test the controllers we have gyro behavior we have enable touchpad or disable we have controller hibernation so you can adjust the amount of time it takes for the controllers to go into hibernation now interesting enough you can't just highlight this and use the joystick or the d-pad to make the changes they make you drag on the touchscreen so i thought that was kind of an inconsistency here whereas with the settings page or with the controller settings in the other sections you can make changes with the joystick or the d-pad so again just thought that was a little odd but you know it works then we have our function shortcut key we have our switch button layout we can disable that or turn it on we have controller battery status we have controller firmware update so we can actually check for the update here you can see that there are no updates available and then we have our controller version so overall i'm really liking this i'm liking the update here again my biggest complaint here is the library i wish that we had two tabs in the library section one for games and one for game platforms you could switch between them and you could swap them around say you want your games to show first by default or maybe you want your game platforms to show first by default but either way i would just like to see those separated but overall i'm very excited about this update i think it looks really good and uh i'm just happy that it's improved so anyways what do you think let us know in the comments down below as always thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor and until next time leon check in out